this old guy DIY video has to do with some freelance engineering to repair this panel on the door of a friend's 2003 Chevy Suburban. So when my friend got this truck, uh, she said this thing is broken here, which I can see. I went online to see how it's attached and apparently there's a screw that comes in from the bottom here. So that screw is still in place, but the clip back here is broken. And I looked online for a replacement part and eBay says about 80 bucks. So rather than spend 80 bucks, I'm going to remove this inside door panel and see what I can see from the backside and figure out how to attach this thing so there's nothing to see up here in terms of a zip tie or a screw, but I'll put it back in place where it belongs. So to take this thing apart, I have to remove this little manual lock mechanism. And there is a screw behind that that I believe takes a seven millimeter socket. And then there's a little screw right here I have to get with a seven millimeter. And it looks like after I get those two screws, I come up here, just pop this out with my fingers, and then I'll be able to grab the door handle here and just lift it straight up, pull it out. We'll see how it goes. To remove the lock mechanism, I just took a regular slotted screwdriver, stuck it in on top and just popped that out. And that thing comes out. And we can see there's a little screw right there that I have to remove. When you go to remove this piece, kind of grab the top, pull out, and you'll see there are two clips on the back side of the plastic and this little retainer on the bottom. So if you try to pull the bottom out first, you might break that clip off. So start from the top, drag your fingers down here a little bit, and then pull out. And this little trim piece around the door handle has to come out also. So I'll just take the screwdriver, stick it in right here, pop that out, and I believe it only has three clips on it. Having removed the two screws, that piece on the top, and that little chunk, I can just grab the door handle and pick up. And now it comes loose with the exception of the wiring. So I'll reach in there, and disconnect the various wires, and the door panel will be off. So I found that without being able to see the back of this switch and this little mechanism, it was easier for me to reach inside the door panel and remove the screw that went into this pillar. You can see that thing was broken previously and somebody had hit it with JB Weld. So now I'll disconnect these two plugs, and I can take the thing in the house and figure out how I'm going to repair it. To get the gray lever free, you just have to push down on this little black tab in the middle. And that lever was in the up position. I just use a screwdriver, push down on it, then you can slide it back. Now that plug will come out. As is often the case when I pulled that door apart, I found that the foam part of the armrest is hanging out. So as long as I have it apart, I'm going to fix this too. So I'll take care of that right now using some of this wire. I'm going to drill a small hole down here, a small hole in this member, and drill through this leather stuff. And I'll just pull these two pieces in and that should be adequate to tuck it back in where it belongs. This is what the armrest looks like after the repair job. So when this thing is tucked back into the door panel, we shouldn't see anything but a nice seam. So I believe this will be fine. At least it's better than it was. So when I looked at this panel, I determined if I came down here to this clip on the end and drilled a hole in it, I can stick a piece of wire through that clip. And then when it's assembled, I can run that wire right through this plastic clip, pull the thing tight, and it should lock in place as if its regular assembly clip was there. So we'll give that a try now. The clip I attached to is down in there. Then I ran the wire up through this plastic clip I came around to this side and came back so then I could take up some tension here by wrapping around that wire. So this is the assembly as complete. And this is what it looks like on the interior where the driver is. So it's nice and tight and I believe it's going to be just fine. Now we'll go put it back in the car. Here's the finished product in the car.
So the buttons work. This thing is held in place. So I think it'll all be fine. And I didn't have to spend $90 for a replacement piece on eBay. I hope this video helped you and have a great day.